Seeker, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend. And the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. Do you expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsognir the Dwarf King found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here, a Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. The stronghold's northwest of here, behind... The Spartafine Realm Tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. Hold your breath. Back in action again. I'm glad Brock and Sinji were able to work out their differences. Now they are twice as irritating. Ah. Oh. I think it's nice to see them trust each other again. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. It says, Glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Greetings! And I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Whoa. Look, 
It's another dragon. I see it, boy. Jane, I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. captured more than one dragon. He must have needed them to create this legendary army. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Dragon shit is powerful? Aye, <laughs> lad. Portly powerful. <laughs> <laughs> the head is having fun with you.
That's an impressive front door. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend.
Prepare yourself! Wolver! Bigger than Vathergar. Yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. Wonder what happened to him. Tis a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Mozognir's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eater. The very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness.
to find out, but they're rather messy. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Dragon would be a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to free it. thing to do. 
do. Look here. Yes, sir. Hmm. This is good to know. suspicious amount of legends, which makes confirming anything about this particular armor difficult. The one constant among them is the ability of the armor to offer ultimate protection. A useful attribute for an unpopular king, you see. 
Yet this plagued land is all that remains of him. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well, what can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Blind trust in a legend is a gamble, and rarely does it pay off. If you say so. Atreus, here! Yes, Father! Yes, sir! Throne, I guess. Maybe the throne room's in better shape. Another one here. Star Cather. Wow, that's a lot of arms. That's fair to say. Six, seven, eight. Could he shoot four bows at once? More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. It looks like Thor come down to size. It's what he does. Screams. Large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. Leftover victims of the Mad Dwarf's reign. Still, that's rather ominous.
There's a passage behind this throne. A secret passage? Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage. you pulled from me. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build <laughs> with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right tricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an un... chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head.
Conan's guard was a beautiful land in its heyday, before the Dwarf King's obsession poisoned his mind. How could he let that happen? The Dwarf blindly trusted in the legend and pursued it without thought to the consequences. This is the result. Trust is a gamble. Like you said, the Dwarf King lost. Found the legendary materials? Incredible. Oh, this is so exciting. Meet me back at the temple and we'll get started right away. Sometimes the best purchase is the one we don't make.
was Odin so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway? He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all. And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hanged. <laughs> wow. You boys look right beaming. They found the materials. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so... So... Nanya. Nanya? Nanya fucking business. Trade secret. We get our ways. Oh. Let's get you squared away. Yeah, check back soon. You're talking.
You take care now. Come on in, man. So much for season quiet. Off you. Thank you. 
Was the other thing? Mm-hmm. 